Hey there, I'm Hannah Howard and welcome to the Local Roundup. So you better listen up and look hard and look twice if you see a $9.84 charge on your credit card statement that you did not spend, that is a scam. Scammers are charging stolen credit card numbers for a small amount of money and believe that you, the cardholder, won't notice the small charge and that credit card companies won't investigate such a minor sum. The Better Business Bureau is suggesting that you contact your local bank to report the charges and request a new card. They are warning you, so don't hesitate to check it out. Speaking of warnings, there is a storm warning in place until 11 p.m. tonight. Hesperus, Hermosa and Silverton are expected to get 8 to 15 inches of snow with winds up to 25 miles per hour. The wind chill is expected to be negative 2 degrees, so please be safe out there and drive slow. Also in Silverton, what would you do if you only had 15 students, grades 9 through 12, and you wanted to have a basketball team? Make it co-ed. That's right, the co-ed basketball program was renewed in 2012 after a decade of non-existence. The team composed of five boys and three girls faces some challenges because the girls are up against boys who are very aggressive, but the boys are sometimes scared to play against the girls. I think the girls have an advantage there. The co-ed basketball team is not the only thing driving down the line. There is a new railroad being proposed. Moving coal by train, talks are taking place to determine if a rail line from Farmington to Thoreau, New Mexico is feasible and has enough support. Interest on either side of the Colorado and New Mexico state line have complained that the only way to move large amounts of goods in the region is by truck. And we can't have those guys clogging up all the highways. The hope is that if this railroad proves to be successful, it could extend to CGCC's King II coal mine near Hesperus, Colorado. This would eliminate the 80 to 95 truckloads it sends out every weekday. Could lending your hunting rifle out to a friend be a criminal act? Well, not exactly. You get to loan it out to him for a whopping three days at a time. Come on, we all know that's barely enough time to set up and break down your camp, let alone go hunting. The GOP got shot down when party members tried to repeal a law requiring a background check for private arms sales and for buyers to pay for that check. The battle over the latest gun laws, I'm sure, will be continued. Thank you for watching the Local Roundup. I'm Hannah Howard on FourCornersTV.com.